Okay, guys, welcome to another uh, week of the Job Stickers Job Seeker we uh, Resource Show. Appreciate your time. As always, we're here every Wednesday at 2 p.m. And today I wanted to talk about something that's very important when you are on a job hunt, or even let's just say before a job hunt, excuse me, um, one of the biggest things you need to be doing while you are working is track your key successes. Um, storytelling to advance your career is is it does so much more for you when you are trying to figure out just what to include in your resume, rather than trying to figure out maybe some of the key projects uh, or operational wins you did, um, or any sort of change agency that you might have done at your pre at your employer. It's hard to kind of start to really think about those things uh, after the fact. So the key there is going to be you want to start tracking these wins and keeping a record of everything you've done that you've done to enhance uh, that you did to enhance your organization's bottom line. Because not only that, it, it shines a light on what you've done, but it kind of shows to you how it show, shows to the hire manager how loyal and, and committed you were to the employer. And so tracking these wins and accomplishments uh, in a form of like a story log um, using just, you know, computer database, notepad, whatever, small recorder uh, or record your phone now, um, uh, it, it can help a lot. It could be more, way more beneficial than trying to dredge up these stories uh, later on. So um, think about also when you're up for a promotion, perhaps, um, you know, sometimes you need to reiterate some of the things you've done that are really neat. And you want to artic articulate these achievements beyond the day-to-day -day tasks, right? So um, when you go in a actual promotion room uh, at a meeting for a promotion, you got to, it's almost like you're reselling your qualifications to the employer for the first time. You have to kind of have that mindset. And so the hire managers right now, they like these success stories. They want to know that, are you a problem solver? Are you a mover, a shaker, a contributor to the organization? Uh, someone who knows how to take, knows and shows how to take initiative. So expressing your accomplishments in story form is a huge advantage because you're, because you can make it compelling, engaging, and memorable for the managers that might be making that decision of hiring or promotion. And now the trick too, though, is you want to make sure that you condense these stories into a quote unquote resume-esque form then, right? A format for each sentence. So the structure isn't this elongated paragraph, right? For each story success. So that's kind of the trick there. If you're not good at it, that's where I would tap someone like myself, who's a resume writer or one of my colleagues. That's kind of what we do is try to condense these things. But again, these stories will make you seem more confident, convincing, and persuasive than your competitors who merely list maybe just a task or, or even just accomplishments, but they might not even relate to anything they're trying to do. Um, also, it's a good way if you're tracking these stories to be able to regurgitate this during an interview um, if you are being vetted for a, a potential role. And that's gonna be huge for you because now you can avoid being redundant on the interview and you will be able to have such a wide range of things to talk about that you can kind of pick and choose which narrative to provide to them depending on the question they're asking. So um, the biggest, uh, the big three accomplishments, wins, or achievements are all kind of the same idea there um, that I always preach to my clients are one, is it a metric-based, quantifiable kind of bottom line impact? Two, is it relatable to the role that you want and that would show that you're offering value to the hiring managers if they were to hire you for that role? And three, is it just neat? Is it a cool story that resonates with the people? You know, something like an award or maybe you, you delivered a speech or what have you. So um, I here's some here are some questions I like to to discuss for like kind of prompts as, as a way to brainstorm these. So what special things have you done to set yourself apart and how have you done the job better than anyone else did or that anyone else could have done? What have you done to make your job your own? What have you what have you taken the initiative? Or excuse me, how have you taken the initiative? And how have you gone above and beyond what was asked of you in the particular job description? What are you most proud of in your job? What problems have you solved? And how can you weave into your story some actual evidence of those accomplishments? Again, you can look at your uh, performance reviews, quotes from colleagues, 
um, complimentary letters or, or, or information um, memos from customers, uh, publications that you might have been pr uh, um, produced that included you, um, products you developed, software applications you've written, et cetera. So um, again, the idea there is was was your stories and achievements, do they make the company profitable or more efficient or more productive? And how did you contribute to that profitability, maybe a sales increase? How did you contribute to efficiency, maybe a cost reduction uh, process you implemented? Or how did you, how did you contribute to productivity, such as motivating a team? Um, so the biggest thing I would say um, for for you to keep in mind um, is identify the quality about yourself and then develop that story about that time you shine with that particular quality. Um, if you start to think of these like these little prompts that makes your stories about you and how it can resonate to the hiring manager, this again will make the resume that much better and it will be way easier for you to start to navigate and figure out just what exactly should you include on that resume when it's time for updating. So a few other things to include with with it in terms of where you can find these um, uh, ideas for these stories to, to kind of jumpstart. Um, again, I'm going to say performance reviews, some bottom line impacts, some improvements that are, you know, operational based. Um, again, that can go off in a bunch of different directions, but if you can remember productivity, efficiency, profitability, um, initiatives you took or got, or, 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 or started to take, um, new Continuing education or learning, ways that you upskill, right? So training, um, any sort of coursework that, uh, even if it was free coursework, you know, anything that you're doing to better yourself. Um, what kind of skills did you obtain, both hard and soft, in your last position? Uh, those metrics, KPIs and metrics, I, I love the KPIs. Um, people love seeing numbers fleshed within the resume. Awards or honors descriptions of major projects or achievements, testimonials, and that could be not only customers, as I mentioned before, and, and colleagues, but also uh, uh, your peers, um, you know, within associations, um, and then even your managers. Um, the publications, like I mentioned, I love that. Uh, any type of mentoring you've done to the, employ uh, to the other employees around you that you've maybe helped in their succession plan. LinkedIn recommendations, that's a nice one too, especially if you're trying to vet and, and, and as a hiring manager and you want to go and see if this person is someone who's qualified, they even, they enjoy looking at LinkedIn recommendations to see what other people are saying about you. Presentations you created, media mentions, and then again, any other big wins or note, noteworthy work tasks. So uh, that is it in a nutshell. Again, do yourself a favor and start to really track what you've been doing each day on in the job, it will make for such a better and easier time for you when you're in a transition, whether it's a, a promotion or a new role. Um, so again, I thank you for your time and visiting and I appreciate all the participants on there today. Um, and if you have any questions, please do uh, ping me, message me, what have you. I'm always an open door and feel free to just ask away if I can help with anything. Um, but um, yeah, again, I thank you very much. And uh, um, I will see you next Wednesday at 2 p.m. And every Tuesday at 2 p.m. as well on the Facebook Live. So I thank you. And you can see this also on YouTube after the call here. Bye, everybody. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Misha.